Hello, Queen of Peace family, once again, and any others who may be joining us on this, uh, well, now Thursday video, this weekly video or semi-weekly video that we'd like to do, uh, certainly now in the middle of these beautiful summer months that have become very beautiful here in Oregon on this side of the state. We've got some comfortable 70s and 80 degrees, and we're really blessed after that 115, 117 touch of Arizona hotter than Arizona that we had in that kind of a moment of, uh, of uh, great heat. So I hope your summer's going well and um, that uh, things are moving along smoothly for you. If you're a young family with children still at home waiting for school to open in the fall, uh, be at heart. It's only about six weeks away from now. So we'll see how all of that goes, certainly here at Queen of Peace and other schools older children and younger ones as well. You know, we've used these videos for a variety of things. And I looked back the other day on some of the videos that we did last year in 2020, when the circumstances were very different than they are today. At that time, we almost were in a desperation mode, <laughs> trying to keep together, wondering what we can do. We knew that many of you uh, were not coming back at the time, understandable at that moment. We've been gifted with a very effective vaccine. I hope uh, if you have not yet been vaccinated that you please do take the chance, the opportunity to do that. It's for your welfare, for the safety of all of us. But we, so we've used these videos in all kinds of different ways to explain things, to um, uh, welcome you in many other ways, to reflect on certain issues. So I was talking with Ethan the other day about um, what more can we do? This is a great opportunity. And you know, one of the things that I wondered for a long time about the many questions that, that you folks have about the Catholic faith that, and times we all have about our faith. Faith comes to us as a very special gift of God it's a special grace that is given to us. But circumstances of life being what they are and the culture in which we live and our own struggle personally, uh, we have those moments when we doubt, when we wonder, when we don't quite understand everything about our Catholic faith. Even if you've been a lifelong Catholic or a new Catholic in the last year or two, uh, having questions, sometimes doubts, can lead us to a greater understanding. And I think this video can be an opportunity, we were talking, to maybe answer some of those questions. Um, you know, there's a lot of examples of this, a kind of a Q&A. Uh, Bishop Barron has a site now called Ask Me Anything. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to say Ask Me Anything, but um, questions about the the Catholic faith. And that is wide open. As you know, it can be just about anything about the Catholic faith. Why we believe what we do. Why, why do we do what we do? Why do we not do what we do? Um, why uh, isn't the church more outspoken on this particular issue or that issue? How is, does the church feel about this type of person? or this class of people, or what do the sacraments mean? Something really fundamental like that. What about the history of the church? Was the Inquisition really about, you know, burning people at the stake? The, what about those crusades? All those kinds of questions that come up now and then. And fairly often, <clears throat> when you come to Mass, I have, um, one of you might come up to me and say, you know, I was talking to my neighbor the other day, my neighbor is not Catholic, and they wondered about such and such. Um, and I wasn't sure how to answer them. Or this is the answer that I gave them, do you think I'm right? Um, and you name the issue. Usually it's more about contemporary issues than it would be about the nature of Jesus Christ. But um, it could be anything. It could be something about the history of the church, about sacraments, about the liturgy, about um, customs, traditions, about ways of doing things and things we believe in. 
So we want to make this, take this opportunity, kind of step out there and offer you, the folks at Queen of Peace or anybody else that might be uh, listening, an opportunity to kind of have a, a general Q&A. Um, the purpose of this, of course, would not be to sort of try to change the world or change the church or change culture in which we live, but rather to have our, to come to a better personal understanding, personal peace of mind, and a greater confidence that what I believe as a Catholic is indeed what I, uh, to come to a deeper, a better, fuller understanding of that. And uh, as I said, it can be a question about just about anything. So this is kind of a Q and A. Uh, and when I'm finished here in a few moments, I'll invite Ethan to come and uh, explain to you how you can ask, ask those questions, primarily through our parish website and Ethan can, uh, can explain to you some of the details on that. But you know, where, where can you go to find answers? You can go to the internet. The internet is filled with everything. There's a lot of really substantial, excellent Catholic websites, a uh, number of Catholic newspapers, all of which have their particular slant on things and their particular bias. You can put in a question catholic.com um, you can go to uh, Archdiocese our Archdiocese website so there's uh, Word on Fire Bishop Barron's website there's a lot of places and a lot of videos that you can find answers to but so we'd like to offer this maybe a little more personal one on one way to respond so when the questions come through we'll look them over it may only be one or two questions maybe more about the Catholic Church, Catholic teaching, Catholic practice. And then we'll respond to the questions uh, through this video. So let's see how it goes. It's kind of a summertime experiment. Um, you're having more interaction with family members, maybe neighbors, and maybe wondering yourself about certain things. So as I said, you can go to the internet, you can go to some well-known Catholic newspaper like Catholic Sentinel, our own National Catholic Register, and there are other papers in between about EWTN, uh, those kinds of places. So there, there's no lack of places to go. You can read the scriptures, of course. Go to the Gospels of Jesus. You can look through there and pray over that. You can search the, the uh, documents of the Second Vatican Council this is a wonder, beautiful book. In fact, I haven't even cracked it much anymore. Uh, recently uh, put out by Bishop Barron's Word on Fire. It has, contains all the uh, 16 documents of the Second Vatican Council uh, that really set the church, as we well know, in a whole nother uh, direction. The Catholic Catechism is a wonderful place. Um, this particular book, well, A Well-Built Faith, is a book we use for RCIA. It's, a, of course, a condensed version, smaller, just the fundamental answers to the Catholic faith. It leads, uh, leads us through a process. And if you really want to tackle something great, you can go to the Summa Theologica by St. Thomas Aquinas, three volume. You, you can start on that. You can see the enormity of the print. So you can start on that for some answers to your Catholic questions. Or you can use this website. And uh, so, so take a little time. Um, as I said, uh, we have, no matter how small it may be, it may be one little thing about how, what we do at Mass. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, something is perhaps <clears throat> almost unnoticeable is why does the priest pour a bit of water into the wine? Maybe you haven't even noticed that after the bread is offered and then the wine is put in the chalice, <clears throat> I pour a little bit of water into the wine. Well, what's that about? Um, so it might be something as small as that or something much, much uh, more important about uh, the morality of war. How does, what's the church's uh, teaching on the death penalty um, or on and on. So uh, write down your questions and um, <clears throat> use this website 
in order to maybe have some answers that we'll get back to you. So let me take a moment, pause here, and I'll invite Ethan to come over and he'll explain to you how that can be done. God bless. Thanks, Father Tim. So to do this uh, Q&A for the submission of questions, we'll have a link on our website. It'll uh, probably be like an icon, an image, very clear. It'll say something like Q&A or the Ask Me Anything, that sort of thing. And you can click on that and it'll bring you to a Google form. We've used these before for all of our pair of surveys, so it should look pretty familiar. And there will be a space on the form for you to submit your actual question. It can all be anonymous because we want to provide that freedom for you to ask really whatever question you want. Um, yeah, nothing's really off the table. I was thinking as Father Tim was lifting up the Summa, Theologi Summa Theologiae, uh, how Thomas Aquinas even asked that question whether there is a God. You know, he, a, a, a monk, a friar that goes through that question, I think anything's on the table. So uh, everything's fair game. Um, and you'll notice there also be just a couple questions about uh, you know what age range you, like you are, that sort of thing, whether you're a new Catholic or not. That's just helpful information for us to uh, maybe tailor our answer toward, toward your particular background or state in life. Um, so yeah, we'll be do doing this uh, for the next few weeks. Again, we'll see how, how all this goes, but uh, I just really encourage you to um, just take this opportunity to, uh, yeah, to, to grow and uh, let your curiosity about, about the faith grow in this time as well. So thank you, Ethan. Um, very simple process. We want to make this simple, user-friendly, and friendly as possible. So, so be assured, you don't have to sign your name or anything. We're not looking for particular names. And when we answer the questions, we will not use your name. It'll just be a question that has come from a parishioner. And um, if you want us maybe to contact you back, for example, you're a returning Catholic or maybe a Catholic who just is very, has not really been able to integrate fully into the church. If you want to put your name on the question, that's fine, but that's entirely your choice. So the question you have, whatever it might be, is likely a question that many others may have. So this is not only the opportunity for you to learn yourself, but uh, for others to hear the answer and to reflect on. We can't promise everything's going to be perfect or, uh, you know, but we, we pray about this. It's really important. It's a great opportunity during summer that's more relaxed uh, in order to do that. So God bless you all. Thanks for listening. And uh, let's continue to support one another. Just a friendly reminder that this coming Sunday, the 16th Sunday, ordinary time, the formal uh, Sunday obligation has been reinstated by Archbishop Sample following the lead of many other bishops in the country. So it's feeling very much as it should feel. And so let's continue to pray for any who maybe are still sick, um, physically sick, maybe hospitalized during, due to COVID. Uh, let's pray for continued healing for them, for their families for neighbors, for fellow parishioners. So may God bless you all at this time. Have a wonderful continued summer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.